All right, so tonight I'm getting the uh, slide out walls kind of uh, prepared for assembly. And um, what I'm doing is I'm putting some flashing around the bottom edge, some uh, steel flashing and uh, gluing that on. And then obviously uh, when everything gets screwed together, uh, I'll go through the flashing and uh, there'll be a, you know, a washer and um, a pan head screw that goes and fastens everything together to um, from the sidewall down to the floor. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I've got this glued up already. It's um, three inch by four inch flashing and I'm using this uh, Loctite, um, the PL adhesive. This is the, the stuff that's good for um, uh, exterior use and uh, fiberglass, wood, steel, all that stuff. So um, using that, it's on um, the back side of all the flashing and then in between where they overlap because I've overlapped all three pieces, kind of like a shingle. Um, and then uh, and I'll, I'll do the same with the top side of the slide out. Once the roof is on, um, I'll have a you know piece of flashing that goes over the top as well. Um, and since the roof is, you know, the, the top of the slide out is fiberglass, um, I'm not going to be uh, using any, you know, rubber roofing. So it'll all be just sealed up with, um, with Dicor sealant. I'll do the same on this wall, get the flashing glued up to the outside. Um, it only goes up a couple of inches on the outside um, where it's visible when the slide out is out. Um, but I've got those trim pieces that, that will go across the top of that um, to finish them off. Just these pieces that came off originally. I'll clean them up a little bit and then uh, get those remounted, of course, after the slide out rooms all bolted together. So tomorrow, uh, well, I'll let this sit overnight and then tomorrow I'll get the uh, sidewalls mounted to the floor and then the ceiling of the slide out mounted to the sidewalls. And uh, of course that all has to sit uh, overnight, let the adhesive cure and uh, you know run the screws in and stuff, but I still wanna let the adhesive cure before I um, you know move the slide out around. Uh, I wanna try to get it installed in the next couple of days into the camper, but um, I want to make sure that everything's all cured before I do that. The flashing on both walls glued up. I'm going to let that sit overnight and uh, hopefully get the walls and the ceiling glued up to the floor tomorrow using the same adhesive. All right, well, I've started to put the slide out together here the wall that walls up and I'm getting ready to do this wall and figured I'd show you uh, what my idea is behind doing the flashing uh, on the bottom that's the stuff I glued up yesterday it uh, sat overnight it's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon now so it's had plenty of time to cure and now I'm going to run some more um, adhesive around the bottom part of the flashing and on just the bottom part of the of the wall there and then get it uh, uh, bolted up with the uh, these long screws that I'm using these uh, what are these oh, four inch is that right uh, anyway the exterior screw the coated screws um, is what I'm using here uh, along with the adhesive so you can see I've got four of them uh, installed there and then where the screw heads are of course that trim piece goes across the bottom and uh, everything will be sealed up along that edge with uh, Eterna Bond and do the same with this one here get it all bolted up so again I'm using this um, Loctite PL it's the uh, fast grab stuff, so it's got a really good initial grab. 
I'm just going around the outside. And then just a little bit in the middle. And then one little bead right there to grab that floor. Make sure that that edge is flush. Now, you see how this is uh, an inset where that other sidewall goes. So I just got to make sure that's nice and flush, and I will get my my holes drilled and the screws put in. I had to get this first one in so I could so it would support. I need both hands to do that. So, so this other one six inches in there. Right, so all four of those screws are in. I'm just going to let this set up for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to uh, flip this whole thing on its side so I can run some screws in from the bottom. Uh, through the flashing into the bottom of this aluminum frame here. All right, so before I tip this thing over, I'm gonna go ahead and get the ceiling mounted. So I got the adhesive put in uh, on this side. I'll go ahead and throw some on this side here and uh, get that ceiling put on and screwed in uh, from the top down and from the side in. All right, so now I just need to uh, flip this thing around on its face and then uh, get the screws in uh, from the bottom into the floor. Um, since that's got aluminum framing, uh, I'm gonna go through the steel flashing and into that aluminum framing with some shorter uh, coated screws. Yeah, these are one and a quarter inch. All right, got that thing flipped over and uh, Got my four holes drilled here. Run these guys in. And again, these will be covered with the uh, trim and sealed up with the turn of on. All right, got all the screws put in on that flashing which kind of acts, well, really acts like a, like a brace for the corners. Got the ceiling on. So I'm gonna let that dry overnight. Not like this, I'll move it back into the shop, but I'll let it dry overnight. And uh, tomorrow I can, well, tomorrow I need to get the inside stuff squared away. So I've got the um, the rest of the painting to do on that one wall and uh, I need to get the slide out mechanism bolted in uh, which I didn't want to do until all the painting was finished so then we can get the slide out uh, mounted on the slide out mechanism and start working on all the trim and all the finish work that goes along with doing that so uh, anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video now and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one later